Hi lovelies and welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, you are more than welcome. Please do want to click on the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified every single time I upload a new video, which is at least once every week. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about things that you might be doing consciously or unconsciously or things to look out for that might raise a red flag as being an unfit parent or someone that needs to get checked basically we're just talking about things to do to avoid drawing attention to yourself by social services or your child's teacher or a nosy neighbor or a very jealous or spiteful neighbor that might just you know want to get you in some serious trouble so these are things to look out for and be conscious of so that you draw less attention to yourself and you know just keep your children really all right, so without further ado, we're going to jump into the very first point, and that is if your child sleeps at school. Now, this is a really, really big one because a lot of children who have parents who work a lot or maybe are not there to monitor their sleep pattern and the children are kind of sleep deprived, they will eventually fall asleep and it might be at school or they might be yawning constantly in the classroom. And this raises suspicion. You do not want this attention. You don't want your child's teacher or your child's classmates to start making note of the fact that your child sleeps in school. This is a number one red flag that will automatically draw attention to the fact that this child is sleep deprived or this child is, you know, suffering one thing or another. So you want to keep that in check. If you are a parent who has neglected that aspect of your child's development, you might want to take a step back and kind of restructure the way your work pattern is or you know just pay attention to it so that it doesn't become an issue later on another way for you to cut this is to have sleeping patterns for the children this might mean that your work schedule has to change completely so that you are at home to be able to enforce this routine god help us another red flag is if your child looks unkept and this is something that i've seen in my child's school there are some children who especially the girls have really unkept hairdo or it's just done in any way or it's not you know properly maintained it could be that the boy you know you didn't comb the child's hair or the child is just looking one way you know it's something you might want to pay attention to because appearance they pay attention to appearance here in school if your child is you know coming with you know, dirty uniforms, on ironed uniforms, you know, if they are not paying attention to, you know, the, the dress code, like if they have a certain color, a certain type of, you know, clothes to wear, you want to just stick to the, and just blend in with the crowd, like let your child look, appear smart, you want to pay attention to that uh, and draw less suspicion or draw less attention to yourself. Now, this next one is something that is actually quite tricky because you may not know unless someone points it out to you. Um, and that is if your child is verbally or physically aggressive or, you know, presents that way with other children. Um, so if your child lashes out or has moments of spiked anger or has moments where they cannot really control their rage or anger with other children it looks like they're emulating an adult or someone who's present or constantly around them so if you have a child who you have noticed this trait with you might want to curb it early and if it is something that has been ongoing you might want to seek help on how to tame them and how to just get them back on track we know that children who are still in their formative stage are really malleable and they can be taught they can really unlearn things at an early age so if it's something that you notice beforehand or if it's something that you are doing as well that they are seeing or they are copying you know as i'm speaking to you i'm speaking to myself so i want to keep watch on that hmm this next one is actually quite tricky because you might not think anything much of it and that's how your child eats how your child eats is a big one to pay attention to because a lot of children present differently when they're outside as opposed to when they're with us um so if you have like foods especially if they're having the school meals like ice cream like pizza if you are really excited about it or they are you know 
grabbing or asking for other children's portions this is something that might raise a red flag because it might look like this is new to them or it is a treat for them really it's this kind of food if you are here in the uk already you know that this is it's like water it's not really that special for children to have ice cream once in a while have pizza once in a while but if this is something that they are constantly you know showing too much excitement for or they are licking their hands or they're you know just eating rush rush uh, you might want to pay attention to it because it looks like they are deprived in that aspect once in a while treat your family just buy something take them out and spoil them a little so that they're not it's not something that enters their eye when they're outside so it's not also something that they are enticed with you know to just get information from i know of someone who had a child that used to go play in the next door neighbor's house and anytime she the child goes there she's a girl anytime this girl goes to the next door neighbor's house the neighbor would always entice her with like ice cream and get her to sit down and then she would talk to her and try to extract information from her and because the girl was so excited about getting ice cream she would always say oh mom can i go next door can i go next door meanwhile this neighbor was collecting information and at the end of the day social social services was involved so because of ice cream please let's it's not really going to cost you anything like two pounds you have bought a tub of ice cream take it with the family let them have it once in a while i'm not saying you should give your children too much sweet things as well let's do it in moderation but let it not be that it is something that they are seeing outside and it's like ah i have to have it no so this next one is kind of a no-brainer so you don't want your children complaining that you hit them so it means to stop hitting them because children will talk either to you or to their friends or it might just slip in a conversation you don't want them to actually mention it i've had a couple of people message me and say oh my child has said this in school and the school has called me to say it's an issue we're taking it up with social services and they've had to go and plead some of them have been lucky enough to get off the case some of them have not i know someone who was driven out of her home because she hit a child and a child actually said it in school so she was given a restraining order to move out of her house and stay away from this child while they were taking on the investigation bear in mind that they were new in the country this is something that happened it's not like i heard i actually know this person that it happened to so she was taken away from her home the husband who was working full-time had to take time off because there's no other person in the house who will do school runs who will take care of the children who will, you know so the whole family was disrupted please if you are doing it back in nigeria it's not acceptable here um there are other ways that we can teach our children or punish them if they've been rude or they've misbehaved there are other ways that we can instill discipline let us be wise and some children can be really stubborn and until you actually act they won't listen but there are other ways there are other ways you can withdraw privileges like take their tablet from them take no more screen time or you know just have a time out you need to go and cool off and just calm down and then we can talk about it when you're calm it could be that you withhold their allowances if they're much older yes the next one is if you are late to drop or pick up your children this is a huge sign and it just screams neglect or you know you become a regular face and they note you for that. Usually when you go and drop off children, you are the one waiting for them to open up the gate. And usually when you go pick them after school, you are usually the one waiting for them to still open the gate for you to get your children. So people pick up and drop off almost at the same time. So like within 10 minutes of drop off or 10 minutes of pick up, the school is almost virtually empty because everybody's just in and out, in and out, in and out. But you guys pay attention to that it's a huge sign it screams neglect it just says that you are not paying attention enough or there's other things that are struggling or fighting for your attention and your children are kind of taking the back seat when it comes to your order of priorities so you want to pay attention to that now the last point we are going to be talking about is if you as a parent pick a fight or get violent with another parent i don't know the kind of demon that we possess a parent so do such a thing but i'm just saying would i pray that this is not our portion because you know you don't want a situation where something happens and it triggers you or it 
causes you to start exchanging words with number one it draws attention to you your child might get bullied because because their parent was seen you know fighting this kind of things get taken up the pta board sits on it there's discussions about what they're going to do as disciplinary action you know so it's it's a whole chain of events that you do not want to occur at all but anyway you guys let us hear a quick word from today's sponsor Today's video is all about Dagusta and they have sponsored this segment of the video. So if you do not know about Dagusta box, I have done one unboxing and that was last month, the June box. They are a snack and drink subscription box and they're based here in the UK. So all you have to do is sign up for their subscriptions and you basically get sent a box like this. Okay right, guys, so each box comes with pamphlets that may or may not contain coupon codes this pamphlet just give you a little more information about each product it also tells you about other products that they carry other ranges of product and flavors that come um, with their brand the box also comes with a pamphlet containing um, information on each product that they send you each month as well as a recipe to try out so i've sent two of the sparkling water and this is from the Daltons and they've sent me the peach and the root bar flavor. They're both no added sugars, um, no refined sugars as well. It's all natural. I cannot wait to try this. Get this on ice and chill. Like after a very long day at work, just chill and pop a can of this open on ice. Now that it's still summer and I can enjoy a really cold drink. So the next product we're getting is, is the Mentos gum. This is the pure, fresh flavor. This is the cherry flavor. I absolutely love cherry. Anything cherry flavor, I love. And this is the gum. This is going to live in my work bag. So this is the product of the month. And this is the Dinky Protein Bar. And this is the Salted Caramel Pretzels. I love pretzels. Anything snacking count me in so i'm excited to try this one out it retails for one pound fifty and it is available at asda okay, so we have some sriracha mayo and this is from the brand kettle chips and this is the sriracha mayo flavor sriracha is a bit spicy so if you enjoy spicy food this is definitely something you want to try out so this is available at waitrose and tesco you can pick this up at either stores and it retails for one pound fifty as well so this next product is from a vegan brand called plantastic and this is their millionaire flapjacks so flapjacks are a huge deal here in britain and my son has been raving about it ever since they made a batch at nursery so this is the chocolate and caramel flavor and it is actually a huge size I there's five of them inside as well so this is enough for everybody in the house so if you know anything about flapjacks it is not the most healthy kind of snacks to eat but this one being the plant based there will be some very healthy substitutes so if you are on a diet like me this is definitely something you want to try out so this retails for two pounds 25 and it is available at asda and tesco so this next product is from a brand called kind snacks so in this month's box they have sent the caramel nuts and sea salt thins i tried things for the first time last month but this one is the caramel nut and sea salt one and i i think i would give this a go so this one has no artificial colors or flavors or preservatives and there's four bars in this box obviously if you're weight conscious like myself the calories are on there per serving so this month there was the dark chocolate and sea salt one and there was then then there was this caramel nut and sea salt one but i got sent the caramel one if you are looking for this you will find this at asda and it retails for two pound fifty all right so this next one is a brand that i have seen quite a number of my co-workers bring to work but i haven't had the boldness to try myself so this is from a brand called boost and this is the caramel latte obviously we know what caffeine does and once you get this in your system you are kind of good to go for at least the rest of your shift or the rest of your day so this is something that i am interested 
interested in so the price is under it retails for one pound 19 and this can be found in all convenience stores and amazon so this month there were two items so you can either get the cafe latte or the caramel latte so this next product is from a brand called very lazy and this is the occasion paste this is something i am looking to try with chicken i think i found a recipe at the back of this one's pamphlet so i'm looking to try this with something like a chicken bake and that would probably be for a sunday dinner so from my little research on cajun seasoning if you like spicy or you know hot food this is something for you it has like black pepper red pepper white pepper cayenne pepper paprika as well as some other spices so if you are looking for something flavorful you want to try this cajun seasoning it retails for two pounds it can be found at stores like morrison's asda and tesco so if you follow me for my sunday vlogs you will see how i utilize things like this in my meals you can also follow my food channel to see how i utilize some of these ingredients all right so this next product is from a brand called sauce shop and they have sent in this box for this month the honey chipotle barbecue sauce so the key ingredients in this are tomato puree sugar white grape vinegar honey onion garlic salt smoked paprika and chipotle pepper it says also that it is perfect for chicken it retails at two pounds 75 and can be found at stores like sinsbury morrison's asda and boots all right so the next product is from a popular brand called jordan's and they have sent in this month their red velvet the county crisp and this is the luxurious light and crisp golden and red oat clusters with chocolate brownies you can just take this with milk you can have this with yogurt i mean the possibilities are endless this is something that will fill you up because it's rich in fiber and all of that so this is a limited edition it also says that at the back of the box so you guys want to rush and get this this retails for three pound 85 this is probably the most expensive thing in the box so this can be found at stores like waitrose and okado all right so this is the last and final product this is a product that i will not be trying out but it's actually quite popular from what i hear among the brits so this is the crisp pink cider it's made from apple so this retails for one pound 80 pence and can be found at sainsbury morrison's and on amazon prime that is that about that that is everything we got this month's the gusta box the product of the month again is this dinky protein bar and i cannot wait to have this this is going straight into my work bag thank you so much for watching the segment of the video let's get on with the rest of today's video so you guys i hope that with this few points of mind <laughs> i've been able to convince you and not confuse you that you need to pay a little more attention i know how hard it is for us to be able to keep these children in line and still keep our jobs keep our sanity as well and function as individuals but god help us god will help us to keep our families keep our homes guys that is it that is our time here for today's video a massive thank you to the Augusta box for sponsoring this video you guys, I will see you in my next one.